is uh, a quantity that flows into a substance, something that flows into a substance that changes in its temperature, very broadly defined. And again, we have a sign convention for heat. So heat, we're going to call that Q. And our sign convention is that if we change our temperature from T1 to T2, where T2 is greater than T1, then the heat is going to be positive. Okay, heat needs to go into the system to change the temperature and make it go up. Okay. If the temperature of the system goes down, heat flows out of the system, and we call that negative Q. Same convention is for W, basically. Now, you can have a change of temperature without any heat being involved. I can take an insulated box, and I can have a chemical reaction in that insulated box. I could take a heat pack, like the kind you buy at a pharmacy, break it up, gets hot. There's no heat flowing from the environment to the system. I have to define my terms. My system is whatever is inside the box. It's insulated. It's a closed system. In fact, it's an isolated system. There's no energy or matter that can go through that boundary. Yet, the temperature goes up. So I can have a temperature change, which is an adiabatic temperature change. Adiabatic means without heat. Okay. Or I could have it non-adiabatic. I could take the same temperature change by taking a flame or a heat source and heating up my substance. So clearly, Q is going to depend on the path, right? I'm going from T1 to T2. And I have two ways to go here. One is non-adiabatic, one is adiabatic. 